Hey guys, today I am going to talk about finances and give you like a better picture. So these are my personal finances. A lot of you are worried that I could get married and then half my money would go away. Um, I talked to my significant other and for the time being, we don't have any plans on getting married. Um, we are fine being separate individuals and having a daughter together, maybe even more kids in the future. But we are expecting our daughter, Farina, on August 8th or August 11th is the, depends on, you know, you never actually know the exact date, right? So I am worth about $2 million. I'm going to break down my assets one by one, explain why I chose to have assets this way and so on. So let me go ahead and get the sheet of paper while you guys look at the thingamajig. Uh, so I'm worth slightly over $2 million cash equivalents. I have $600,000, $100,000 of that is always cash. This is to pay employees. This is to fund my company. Uh, if we have vendors that we want to hire, uh, software bills and so on. So hundred K is always cash. The 500 K is actually kind of interesting. It's collectibles from my game store. So even though the game store was never really a big money maker, you do actually end up with a lot of collectibles. And after, you know, right now, after Farina is born and, and we have, we're trying to hire a nanny. Uh, we interviewed for a, a nanny just a few days ago and she seems really great and has a lot of good nanny experience. Uh, we're just looking to do a in-person interview with her sometime next week. But assuming everything is done, I'm going to open a store and I'm going to just heavily discount everything. Um, I don't know if we're going to do online. Online's always been kind of tricky. I actually got rid of the website, so mtgline.com. I just didn't have the time to work on the website, so I decided, you know, I don't have time to work on my marketing website. So we do, in my estimation, all the Pokemon, all the Inuyasha, all the things. We're probably going to eventually sell all that. We have half a million dollars in collectibles, but that's really business. Um, that's really business. And if we wanted to sell it, buy list, we can do it that route. So in my opinion, it is, given the quality of the cards, it is pretty equivalent to cash. Especially since I do expect to open another business sometime after my daughter is born. So that's cash equivalent. Investments, that's my stocks and bonds, right? I, I can break it down even more. Oh, liabilities. I don't have any liabilities. I don't have any student loans. I don't have any car loans. I own my car. I don't have a mortgage. I own my home. I don't have any business loans. I didn't even take a PPP loan, which was forgiven anyway. I just don't have any loans on my business. My business is profitable and very much so. Alternative, uh, that is from my law firm. It's a combination of my law firm and other investment, uh, basically the self-employed plan. And then uh, here you have the Roth IRA and then you have the individual. So that, that's where they're sitting on. And then you got my Lexus. I depreciated a Lexus and you got my home. The government says my home is actually worth more than this. So it's kind of, uh, you know, actually I had put in half a million dollars, but I just bumped it up a little bit. Inflation, 10%. So then the Lexus, uh, about 60,000, probably worth that today. I don't know if I could get that if I sold it, but anyway, that's kind of the highlights of business. And yeah, uh, that's about $2 million. Um, half of it or a quarter of it is in cards and collectibles, like figures and stuff like that. Uh, that's a lot of money to have in that, but understand I had a store since 2016. So I've been on and off from my store, but probably pretty consistent uh, in my store. And you do accumulate stuff, and eventually you will sell the stuff, right? And get cash for it. So in my opinion, uh, and this is something I talked to my girlfriend about, is obviously the most important thing is to get a nanny to sit down and make sure, you know, everything's good with the child and so on. And, you know, these bills are not cheap. And they're not like stuff that I would ordinarily worry about as a single guy, right? So uh, when would you ever invest in magic? The answer is never. Uh, I regret investing in Magic the Gathering. I wish I had more money in stocks. Had I put all my money in stocks, I would have done really, really well. 
I'm very good at picking stocks, apparently. Uh, in fact, um, the majority of the stocks I've picked have doubled in price. And some of them have gone to zero, which is unfortunate, but, but some of them have doubled in price. And it's actually a lot more fun. So in addition, oh, also I'm uh, on this account, I'm FDI insured for like some ridiculous amount of money. I think it's like $5 million. So let me actually log in and tell you the stocks I have. Uh, again, not investment advice, um, something where I can just say that like, oh, I'm, I, this is past data. It's just data I'm giving you. Numbers cannot hurt you. I'm not saying that any past performance is a future performance type of scenario because absolutely is not. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at my positions. Um, I have some bonds. They have lost a lot of, they lost a shit ton of money. So I have Houston bond, Harris County bond, Miami day bond. All my bonds have lost money. Wisconsin bond, I don't know why I have that. ARK Invest has lost me a lot of money. ARK Invest is down 45.64%. Uh, Alibaba is down 35.98%. And the Diamond Offshore, remember that company that bankrupt and then came back from the dev, dead? Like I was like, wow, like, I thought that the money was just gone. Uh, that is down 46.50%. So those three are down 35 to less than 50%. Um, oh, actually, you know, I can read you my bonds too, in case like bonds have not been doing well. Uh, so Meta uh, is up 112%. I have $47,800 in Meta. PDD, which is a Chinese stock, is up 197%. 100%, it basically tripled in price. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that much of it. I only have 31500 into that. S&P 500, which um, my Roth IRA is all S&P 500. It's all S&P 500. Uh, is 300, is up only 10%. So that, that one did not do so super well. Uh, unfortunately, it did not do super well. Uh, the SPY, yeah, SPY didn't do super well. TQQQ is up 49%. Upro is up 46%, and even though ExxonMobil is down, uh, it is lifetime up 132% for a additional value of 102 since I've been investing, and I've only been investing, guys, I've only been investing since MetaZoo, or even since like Nightfall. Uh, I've been up $102,552, or 24%. Uh, my Roth, Roth IRA is just really simple. It's all, it's all S and P five hundred and a little cash. I probably should put the cash in the S and P five hundred. It's kind of sitting there, and I'm up eighteen percent overall on my Roth IRA. Uh, to get to my law firm one, I'd have to like answer like eight million questions, but I think that's similar. Um, it's invest. It's it's run by this organization called Hancock. So they send me like a quarterly report that I look at. And those are my investments. <laughs> Guys.